Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Josh Shows You How to Do Shit. Uh, I had a request to do Asphalt 6 to show how it works with the 6-axis controller, so we have Asphalt 6 running right now. So, what I do for this... This one's actually quite easy. Um, what you need to do is touch the screen to continue. Eh. And we'll go to Free Race. Da da da, NASA, normal race. Pick my Tesla, because I haven't been playing it that much, so I'm only like fucking something through it. I don't know. I have off of work today, unlike last time where I was trying to make a video and rush before I went to work. My sister's actually coming over, and we're going to play Super Nintendo on here all day long, connected to that TV. So, as we're going, I have it going. Options. Controls. Put it on Control D. Because if you notice, you touch one side of the screen, it'll make you go left. You touch the other side of the screen, you go right. And, yeah, that's about it. So I'm pretty sure I screenshot it and all that crap like I showed you before in my other video. So I got a bunch of stuff running in the background. We'll go 6-axis controller. That's my Super Nintendo setup, by the way. Same thing I showed you before. It's just... Take a screenshot and set up your buttons over that. And then you can actually go back into the app and go to settings and hide your controls so nothing's on the screen. And it's really cool. And you just use your controller. So what I do for Asphalt is we're going to go this and double tap because I'm still in preferences where I was before after you open the app. Go to load profile and I will show you my Asphalt profile. Bam! Bam! With that control scheme, oh, let's see, we'll go to change background, to see if I have a screenshot of asphalt still on here. Yes, I do. Bam. All right. See how I have left and right? As long as you put, I use the actual D-pad for this, and uh, just put left on the left side of the screen, right on the right side of the screen. Start up there, we'll pause, select. R1 I use for my turbos, and then cross to accelerate and square, whatever you want. I, and that's kind of ass backwards on the controller. I noticed that now, but I auto accelerate anyway, so all I do is hit squared for the brake. And that's it. Like, super simple. Left, right. Make sure that you're on control scheme D. And we'll go back to asphalt. I also turn the sensitivity all the way up. Not on the actual 6-axis controller, but if you go into controls, and where it says control sensitivity, see how I got it jacked up there? It seems like it's really, really tight, like worse than Gran Turismo with a clunky car. Like, uh, this is more burnout, um, arcade freeform kind of feel to it. And I'll just show you real quick the responsivity of the left and right. Right, or left, mm -hmm. Oh, I still have it set on uh, Super Nintendo. Hold on. I was just playing Yoshi's Island. Go back to Success Six Controller. Go back. Go back. And remember, you name it after you save it. And we'll go Asphalt. Bam. And then I'll go in my Task Manager. We'll go back to Asphalt. And it should go right back to where it was at because Game Loss pretty good with their whole uh, exit out, exit back in. And right left right left see that's pretty smooth right and then R1 will boost right it's pretty easy to control uh, make sure you have sensitivity all the way up if you don't like it the way I have it then friggin do it the way you like it but this is how I do it control, control scheme D use the D pad left and right and then left and right and I kind of like the old school feel of using the D-pad because, like I said, I'm kind of older, fucking, you know, like 30 years old, so I appreciate using D-pad every once in a while. But even while boosting left, right, like, you have control, and that's an adrenaline boost. That's, like, the fastest you can get. And you can still drift, but I can't show you because, I mean, I could if I... Eh, no, I can't turn and use one hand at the same time and break, but, yeah, that's asphalt for you. So, uh... I don't know, fucking put it in the comments if you have a game out there. Don't say Dead Space, because Dead Space is impossible to map, because you have to tap the screen to bring up your gun. And, uh, it just doesn't work that way, because 
if you tap the the analog stick, it taps the screen and it just screws it up. So Dead Space is a no go. I still haven't figured out the whole Nintendo 64 uh, how to get the analog and D-pad at the same time. Like, there's a way you can map it so that the D-pad you can use the analog for the analog stick, the left analog, and then use the uh, right analog up, down, left, and right that you hardware assign for the D-pad. And I haven't figured it out. I just I work too much, and I got a girlfriend, and, you know, a life and stuff. So, uh, once I figure it out, I'll definitely put up a tutorial video if someone hasn't done it already. If, uh, anyone, if you guys figured it out, you make a video for me, alright? How about that? Because I, I want to figure that out so I can play freaking WrestleMania 2000 all day long. But, uh, hopefully this video helps you again. Keep it real. I'm gonna go wait for this video to upload on YouTube because I have the worst Wi-Fi ever. So, uh, take it easy. I'm gonna play Super Nintendo. Bye.